Hi. In the last session, we looked at doodling and just getting marks on, the, on a piece of paper to prove the point that everybody can make marks and can therefore draw. Okay, so this is, we did something like that. If or you, you did it, you did something like that. Also, we talked about the fact that this is like a warm up. So when we do more or harder sessions, we can redo things like this just to kind of get things going. And as I said yesterday, a bit like when we're doing exercise. Okay, now we're gonna progress from the doodle to something called constant line drawing or continuous line drawing. Um, as I said yesterday, this is my, or in the last session, this is one of my favorite drawings. And I think if you can draw already or if you're an absolute beginner, this is something you should try and get used to. So in, you're kind of an advantage if, you're, if you've never done any drawing before because you can start from scratch and learn this. Um, I think it's the best way to sort of learn to draw to learn to sketch and to be free and to draw what you can see around us. And also it lends, means you can draw objects, people, complex things, situations. You can sit there and, and sketch and doodle, you know, people moving around or whatever. So it's a really practical way of capturing the world around us. Right, so here's a very crude example of a continuous line drawing. Uh, it was done very quickly, and it's just a bit, it probably done in the class I've done before, and it just give people an idea of what we're going on. That's a slightly better one, but you can still see it's fairly crude, but it, it gets across what a hand is. Now, I've just got a couple of examples here. Uh, it looks like a garden, and this is a more, a, you know, a nice example of someone's face. But it, what we can see, and we can see on mine as well, is that there's lots and lots of lines, okay? And the lines, some of them are light, and they progress to being dark. Now, the, the, the way that this drawing works, this system of drawing, continuous line drawing, is you start by looking at an object, and you just go around very crudely around the whole entire shape. So that's like a hand. Then you go around again, and you draw, you look at your original lines, and you, you sort of forget those, and you draw the next set of lines. And you can repeat the process many, 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 many times, until you start to establish the shape of the object, whether it be a hand, a person, a dog, a car, whatever. Okay, that's how continuous line working works. It's about repetition, going over, and as you go over, your mind picks out, or your, your, your brain and your hand work together to work out what is important and what is not important, and what you can leave out. Right. What we need to do now is basically try this, or you need to try this, okay? Um, but I think I should do a slight demonstration first. But, and also, I don't think we'll go straight into drawing hands, because most people say, oh, I can't draw hands, you know, they're really difficult. And, but, it's, I mean, the point about this drawing technique is it just simplifies. So a hand is difficult, but actually just a hand is a collection of tubes, squares, uh, triangles, lines, and all the rest of it. And that's what I want you to start thinking about, that it's just a collection of lines that we have to put together. So we almost, as I've said before, or I, if I haven't said, I'm going to introduce this now, forget the object and look at the shapes. Okay, so as an object, however complicated, it's just a selection of shapes. Before we start, I, I'm hoping you're going to sort of follow this and run it as a bit of a course over the, you know, the next few weeks or whatever. One thing I always ask my class members to do or people I'm teaching is to every time they do a drawing initial it and write how long it took and describe what it was so you'd say uh, continuous line drawing TC plonk, 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 uh, and say four minutes or whatever and that way when you look through as we progress you can look over your work and see one how you've progressed you've moved on and two you can actually understand what the drawing was so for example with this drawing if you know it was only two minutes you're not expecting that much but if that was like three hours work you'd be like well you know uh, so make a note of it so put a name or your initials time and date okay right i'm now going to move on and draw a very quick demonstration of a continuous line drawing okay i don't know what it is some sort of thing <laughs> vegetable right so the principle is you go around really quickly and loosely okay so i'll try and do this without sort of don't expect too much because it's pretty quick okay so you go around and you look at the various shapes and you pick them out and then you 
keep going around and you pick out more shapes. And you might put it into context with shadow. And you keep going around and around and around. Eventually you pick out the shapes which are important and create the object. Okay, right. so that's our first continuous line simple drawing. And I just want to make a point of how it compares to the doodle. It's the same line work, it's quick stuff. The lines themselves aren't really you know, a bit, you know, not that important. It's the way they combine. So your doodle, it grows and it becomes something, even if it's imaginative, because the more lines you put on, the more it just sort of yeah, establishes itself, I suppose. And this is the same thing here. So we just, it, a, a doodle becomes an object. So what I want to do now is do a time-lapse drawing of a hand, which is a really, you know, quite a complicated shape, but I want to show you the process. And then after that, we'll discuss where we can move on to from here. Right, so this was apparently three and a half minutes long, okay? It's not brilliant, but you can kind of get the gist. You know, so it's, you know it's a hand, which is the whole point about drawing, getting across a message, you know. It's not about photographic re, you know, reproduction, well, especially something that takes three and a half minutes, but it's, it's, it's a hand. Now, the key principles are here. You can see all the extra lines that we drew on. You can also see, as we go, we, you know, we've got the big shapes, then you, you work on the smaller shapes, and then you subdivide the next row of shapes. So that's one shape. These are shapes, these are other shapes, and so on, okay? So it's all just, you, you look at the whole picture, then you break it down. But by doing this constant line drawing, you kind of get a feel for everything being the right way. And look, if you look in particularly here, you've got one, two, three, four, five lines where the fingers ended. But it wasn't till you've drawn them all in that you think, yeah, that's the right one. And that's where you, as you move into the drawing, you then draw the darker lines. So you work lightly over the whole thing, many, many times, going back and forth, side, you know, all over the place. Then when you feel it's established, you start to draw in the lines harder so that you pick out the form. Right, now I want to move on, or in the next session, we're going to move on and with uh, this, this drawing technique, continuous line drawing, and we'll look at some other objects. In the meantime, you can practice hands. Uh, take some basic objects around the house and look at them and, 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 and practice this thing. Remember, make a note, say three and a half minutes, uh, TC, and date it if you want. So you know what it is, continuous line. Okay, see you soon.